Streams might not seem like a big deal, but they are very cool. Because the fact that they compute their rest of the stream lazily, combined with recursion, lets us do some really fun things. So let's talk about how we can build streams out of simpler streams. Okay, let's talk about how to square a stream. What does it mean to square a stream? Well, that just means to return a stream over all the elements of some other stream, squared. Squared means I take s dot first and multiply it by itself. So what I'm going to do is return a stream that starts with squared and is followed by what you get when you square the rest of the stream. Now s dot rest here is lazy computation. The stream takes in squared the rest of the stream, but it actually doesn't take in the rest of the stream. It takes in a function that, when called, returns the rest of the stream. So this is nice because this means we're not actually making the recursive call right away. Instead, we delay it here until somebody actually asks for it. So if we have s as our integer stream starting at 1, where the first k elements of s are just the numbers 1 through 10, then squaring that stream gives me another stream that starts with 1. So what's the difference? Well, if I look at the first k elements of this squared stream, then I find it's the first 10 squares, computed on demand whenever anybody asks for that. But we haven't squared 11 yet, because nobody's asked for it. What happens if I add two streams together? Well, that would mean adding the first element of s to the first element of t, and then, if anybody's ever interested, we can also compute the rest of this added stream, which would just be what you get when you add the streams s.rest and t.rest. So here we'll create a stream whose first element is the sum of the first elements of s and t, and the rest will be computed by summing the rest of the elements. So uh, what's the first k of what we get when we add the streams s and s dot rest? Well, we get the odd number starting at 3. Because s is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, s dot rest is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and adding 1 and 2 makes 3, 2 and 3 makes 5, 3 and 4 makes 7, etc. So we actually can define the integers in a different way than we did before. Let's create a stream of just ones, which is a stream that starts with one. And if anybody asks, the rest of the stream is ones as well. What are the first 10 elements in the one stream? Well, just a bunch of ones. So how do we find the integers? Well, the integers is just a stream that starts with the number one. And then after that, if anybody asks, I'll just add together two streams, the integers themselves and a bunch of ones. So those are the first k integers. We're notice that we've used ones to define ones and the ints to define ints, which is a crazy thing to do except that it actually works because of the la lazy computation of the rest of the list. So if instead of this lambda here, I just had ones, then it would say ones referenced before assignment. But because that only gets computed if somebody asks for it, we can even refer to streams where the rest of the stream has yet to be computed. It doesn't even exist yet. So we found out already that we can add streams um, 
ints and ints.rests in order to get odd numbers starting at 3. And we also have seen a way of squaring a stream in order to get squared integers just by actually multiplying together. But you can also get subsequent squares through addition. If you take the first square, 1, and you add 3 to it, then you get 4, the second square. If you add 5 to that, then you get 9. 9 and 7 is 16, the fourth square, and 16 and 9 is 25, the fifth square. So one way to get the squares is to define a stream that starts with 1 and is generated by adding together the squares with this stream of odd numbers that I just created. Now squares is not defined yet because what we really want to do is construct the stream with a lambda. So now squares starts with 1 and the first k elements of squares up to 10 is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, all of the squares of the first k positive integers. The key is to understand that a stream can be defined in terms of itself just as long as you can declare what the first element is and then you can define a way of computing the rest of the stream which doesn't happen right away. If it did, that would cause an error, but instead is computed lazily whenever this rest function is called, which is why we use lambda in order to delay that computation. 